Bone growth during childhood and bone remodeling during adulthood are two important physiological functions that occur daily in multiple locations in our body. Given the huge surface of the skeleton, for these two functions to occur properly, there must be a constant and considerable supply of energy provided to bone cells. This view of bone physiology led us to propose that there is a common control of bone mass and energy metabolism, a common control exerted by hormones that preferably would appear during evolution with bone because their existence is justified in part, possibly, by the energetic needs of the skeleton. Leptin is such an hormone. It inhibits bone mass accrual and appetite and favors energy expenditure. To fulfill these three functions, leptin requires the integrity of a small structure in the brain called the hypothalamus. Surprisingly, however, inactivation of the leptin receptor in hypothalamic neurons does not affect bone mass, appetite, or even body weight when mice are fed a normal diet. We view this paradox as indicating that leptin does not act in the hypothalamus, but instead elsewhere in the brain, where it would regulate the synthesis of another neuromediator that will then come and act on hypothalamic neurons. This neuromediator would therefore be the true regulator of bone mass and energy metabolism. To identify this neuromediator, we relied on clinical observation, and in particular, we were intrigued by the fact that serotonin reuptake inhibitors, a widely used class of drugs in psychiatry, can have deleterious effect on bone mass and appetite. We therefore hypothesized that brain-derived serotonin could be a powerful reg regulator of bone mass and energy metabolism and could also be the missing link to understand how leptin regulates these two functions. What we show in the paper is that brain-derived serotonin, which is made in brainstem neurons, favors bone mass accrual and promotes appetite, unlike leptin and does so by acting on the right neuron in the hypothalamus. Remarkably, serotonin binds to different receptors on different neurons in the hypothalamus to regulate bone mass on one hand and appetite on the other hand, and this has an important therapeutic implication. Regardless of that, the fact that serotonin and leptin exert opposite influence on bone mass and energy metabolism suggests that leptin regulates these two functions simply by inhibiting the synthesis or the release of serotonin by brainstem neurons. We verified experimentally that it was the case and also provided evidence that this is the main mode of action of leptin when it comes to these two physiological functions. Indeed, obese mice that lack leptin are hyperphagic and obese could be made anorectic and lean simply by depriving them of brain-derived serotonin. In summary, what this study shows is that there is a molecular basis for the common control of bone mass and energy metabolism, and this molecule is brain-derived serotonin made in brainstem neurons. It also shows that the roadmap of leptin when it comes to the control of bone mass, appetite, and energy expenditure goes through the brainstem and not directly to, through the hypothalamus. And from a therapeutic point of view, the fact that serotonin favors appetite through distinct receptors raises the hope that inhibiting the function of this receptor could be used to treat eating disorders in humans.